Hi guys, so welcome back to the channel today. I'm playing this Mount Everest game. So basically, when you spawn in, you go straight up to this red and yellow, these red and yellow tents. We get to the yellow ones. But since I joined their group, I'm going to go to this one first. I'm going to equip this backpack. you got to keep pressing remove backpack because it's not equipped in it. For some reason. Move back and forth. I press this. <laughs> this is like SOS, the red one is. And this one's like a flash. This is infrared. This is steady, basically. And high vision is just light. So I'm gonna go over here to the yellow one. First, you wanna get this one right here. Then fill this up. And turn flow off. You see in the bottom left, I'm turning flow off. Because you're not gonna need it to. Until you're at 2,400 feet. I'm at 46. If you look at the bottom right corner of my screen, that's the altitude. So that's where I'm at. So then the second one pops up. If you go on this helmet, the second one behind that one pops up. Get some clothes on. Get your backpack. You got a water bottle. My hydration's low. I've been sitting here for a while, just laying around. Because it's like one in the morning right now. Then you just fill it up. This is your flare gun. You only have one of them. And your radio to like tell people where you're at, basically. I'm not sure if these are broken or if they just don't work. But you can buy like items and stuff. So this is the Sherpa tent. The Sherpas, the Sherpas, like they basically guide you up the mountain. This is Mount Everest that I'm climbing, the tallest mountain in the world. It's 400 Robux to become one of them. So when when you get out of this yellow tent from you spawn in right there, you go over to the yellow tank, get your stuff, unless you join the group, then you get your stuff there. But what you're going to want to do is spawn in, go to this tent, get all the stuff in there. Then as you're walking out, look right a little bit, and then just go straight right. And you'll see a couple signs somewhere up here. Don't turn your oxygen flow tank on till you're at 2,400 feet. You don't have to turn your oxygen till you're on till you're like at 5,000 feet because that's when you start losing health without it on. So it says oxygen needed at 2,400 meters, not feet. So stay off. Stay clear of crevices, basically like cracks of melted ice and stuff. I think that's my little brother up ahead of me. Yeah, it is. So let's go on these ladders I took this way. Just keep on finding ladders. Try not to fall in these holes. I've been playing this for like three, four days now. 
Wait, no, I've only played this. I started playing this, yeah, on Thursday. It's Friday. Well, it's now Saturday. But we had no school today because of the snow. The snow and ice storm that came in. We're supposed to not have power today because of there's a bad ice storm coming in. So we may not have power. So now I gotta go down this and to the right. If you fall from a high up there, like a high height, you'll lose health. But if you fall from a too high of a height, you will die and you'll have to respawn. If you get stuck or stranded, use your flare gun, use a flash, turn your red light on, and to turn off. To turn on the red light, you got to press on the white light first to turn it off, and then you can turn on the red light. So I have $270. I've never made it to the summit. Summit is the top of the mountain, like the very tip. And basically at the top, there's a bunch of like flags from different countries and stuff. You'll see when I get up there. Stay in first person. Like zoom your screen all the way in. Press like I if you're on a PC. And I would have zoom out if you don't know. Shift lock really doesn't work, it's just first person works. It's the easiest. You don't have to move your screen around. So from here you go left, I'm pretty sure. Then you go right straight up. You should find like a path. Here's one. Usually the ladders are on the left side of the map. You see at the top left of my screen right here, it shows like the weather. And if it says morning, then that means you got to get like shelter or hide like in a cave or something. And if you get stuck, just move your screen left and right. And when you get to around 800 feet, you're about to go to camp number one, if you're on the right path. Sometimes, one time I skipped camp one. There's nothing really important at camp one anyways, so it doesn't matter if you skip camp one. Camp two has oxygen. You're not going to need it. You're just not going to be that high up yet. Basically, you'll meet tons of people at the camps. They're usually waiting for other groups of people. It's normal if you experience lag when you get to the camps. I don't know why that happens. But you're going to see like dead bodies and pieces from like equipment and stuff. Just laying around randomly. I've been watching a few like Mount Everest videos on YouTube. And it kind of made me want to like. So, like, let's say there's an avalanche. Try not to hide, like, all the way in here, but you can. You can hide, like, in this. If you get lost in it, just do flash and turn off white and do red. Turn off red to do white. And this is an ice crevice. So you gotta be careful. Like in real life, ice crevices can fall because they're like little melted 
Nice. Here he is. And I just earned ten dollars. One point in the side. When you get to like a thousand dollars, you're a pro. I've seen a YouTuber at fifteen thousand, and he had like eighty-six. No, there's this one YouTuber with eighty-six times he got into the very top, which is impossible for me right now. Cause I get, I don't get lost easily. That's probably the hardest thing to do. Okay, they need help. I don't know where to go, I give up. So I'm just gonna show them. I probably get like 20 plus times. There's usually ladders on the left side, so stay to the left sometimes. But there is a camp on the right side. Like every thousand feet, there's a camp, I guess. And there is like little holes and stuff, but like melted ice or like a cave. I think I see, yeah, I see a ladder. You have to go on the ladders or you might get lost. They're probably like the fastest way to get up things. And there's a bunch of like holes and stuff. When it gets night out, I'm going to turn my infrared on. Basically, it's like night vision. Okay. It does get very dark and heavy clouded. Out of the blue. Snowstorm, I need to take cover. When there's a snowstorm, put like flash on or put like a red light on and like take cover in like a hole or something. See, it says warning on the map up here. Okay, my hydration is going to I need to drink some water. I'm almost out of water, so I'm going to go down the link. I'm trying not to get low. Snowstorms make it easier to fall or not like get lost because you can't really see anything. But they last about three or five minutes. It's easy to get lost while there's snowstorms, but I've actually been here before. I recognize this rock. Okay, we can't climb up the rocks like this. There, I've gotten it. They earn some money in about 300 feet exactly. I'll be needing like 300 meters up 
I'm going to need oxygen, but I'm not going to use it because I'm not going to waste it. Just waiting for the moon to go down and the sun to come up. I'm trying to get somewhere now. That's the four drops I'm gonna get out of the way. See something. You step on my flares. I think this is a drop off. Yeah, that was a drop off. Oh, yeah, I found my way. I gotta go this way. You know, I gotta go right. We reach Halloween cave or whatever it's called. Halloween Tuck Cave. I'm not sure what Halloween means when they put it on like a cave or something. Well, this was basically like a tutorial of how to play this game. Just look up Mount Everest on Roblox and you'll find the game. That is all for this video. Bye.